Welcome back to Talk To Me with the coach, Mike. We made this wheel on the road today. Sox Park, and we ran across the man for the White Sox, Galvin Floyd. How we doing? Doing good. How are you doing? Just fine. You know, I coach college baseball, and I scouted for five major league teams. And it's every kid's dream to play major league baseball. And I've always told kids that the quickest way to the big leagues is pitching and catching. Now, you made it as a pitcher. What was the key to your success? Uh, I think uh, just uh, I played a lot of sports, you know, I, I played different sports and I was able to uh, try to be the best at everything, but baseball was the thing I was most successful with and I also loved it, you know, and uh, I think uh, by being an, an athlete through all different sports, I learned how to be uh, the best control of my body I can be, uh, which, and work ethic, I think uh, just working hard and and uh, just ha you know, just going out there and trying to compete, be the best comp competitor I can be. And I think uh, uh, God gave me a talent, and I just you know was able to have have fun and and work hard at the same time. And I think that uh, was part of the equation of, of being successful. Now, when you were in high school, were you just a pitcher, or you played other positions? I could swing it a little bit. I I played a little bit uh, outfield first base DH uh -huh. you know um, I loved uh, I actually was a, a catcher pitcher growing up so I liked I like being a part of the action obviously uh, but uh, it as I became better as a pitcher they 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 kind of took me out of other positions to, to focus on pitching so you so you could swing it a little bit you just wanted them to get out there and bop the ball out of the ballpark <laughs> I tried every time I swung the bat I I try to hit it a mile, but oh, you was one of those. Huh? Yeah, oh yeah. There's no like, there's no in between. You're striking out or <laughs> bomb. <laughs> yeah, I remember some of those players back in the day. <laughs> so I mean, as a pitcher, at what point did you start defining yourself as a pitcher? Um, when I when I really saw that I, this could potentially be, uh, I could play in the college level or or even professional level. I think uh, my freshman year of high school, I started seeing that I was competing with the guys that were three, four years old, older than I was. And I, I actually was able to play with those guys and challenge myself playing that age group. Uh, I think that also made me a, a better competitor because I was young, really young in all the teams I was with pretty much. And uh, saw, seeing that I was able to play with an older age group, I saw that, you know, and be one of the best players on on the team and stuff. I think I, I saw a little future in baseball, you know, and I wanted to play in college. And, uh, you know, I was blessed enough to be able to play professional right out of high school. And what was that role like getting to the big leagues for you, from the minor leagues up? Uh, it was it was interesting. There's a lot of, lot of memories I have. I mean, I think all the memories really in baseball happen in of off the field stuff or and or like team camaraderie and and you know you go on those long bus rides and you get to you know I mean 16 hour bus rides 12 hour bus rides you get to you get to you know figure out how to have fun and and it, I mean I used to coach college ball so some throwing stuff all over the bus pillow oh, fights whipped cream and all that sleeping stuff. on the floor I mean I mean I could barely fit in between the cracks of the the seat uh, the the spaces in between the seats but I found a way to sneak in there and try to sleep oh, well I mean getting in there at six o'clock in the morning you know from a night game it just uh, just things that, that challenge you, but at the same time, it's you're you're competing at a great level, and, and you learn to have fun with it, and, uh, and 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 it was it was a it was a battle. It started then, you know, and uh, the minor leagues was a lot of fun, and, and just learned so much from 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 you know even getting challenged at a higher level like AAA. I think that was real challenging and. Mm -hmm. Even major leagues, you know, especially guys with the, you know, we have video, we have much higher skill level, and, but uh, minor leagues was uh, a big step for a high school guy, that's for sure. So, I mean, what is it like actually trying to get major league hit us out when you get on this major league level? Uh, it, it, it's it, they, especially when you have a couple years and you, the guys know, you know, what you bring to the plate, 
Uh, sometimes, you know, maybe a pattern or two they see, you know, there's always adjustments, but it ultimately, uh, you got to execute as many pitches as you can, you know, that's, uh, for me, I, I just, I just trust in, in the ability God gave me and I just try to hit, execute each pitch. Uh, obviously, I'm not perfect, so I'm not going to, but uh, the most I can, the more I can, the more successful I'll be. I know, again, having scouted major leagues, a lot of guys, when they get to the big, of course, getting there is the big and the toughest part, but you have that trying to stay mentality. When do you really reach a comfort zone in the big leagues where you know you're right? Um, I think after getting your first year, you know that, and and feel like you're a part of the team. I think uh, as a rookie, uh, sometimes you don't feel like a part of the team. I, at least I didn't, because you don't know if you're going to be sent down or or be a, a piece of the equation. Uh, and I think that when you're there and you know that you had a full year and you you have something underneath your belt and you feel like you're you know the team is behind you. I think that's when you, you start feeling comfortable that you you know you've established a you know maybe you know have a career at a major league level. It is a little relaxing when you come to spring training to know you're one of the top five pitchers in the rotation. Oh, no doubt. That I mean, when you when you know you're coming to spring training and you got three guys with you that are trying to get the fifth spot or something like that, you know, that, that could be a little taxing. I mean, you you, you try to, but. It boils down to that stuff that doesn't matter because you you got to go out there and, and just worry about being the best you can be, you know, and all that stuff. Uh, you know, it, it's out of your control. So you just try to be the best you can be, execute as many pitches as you can, and and uh, you let things happen. You know. Uh, let me ask you this last question: Every kid dreamed of playing the big leagues. You got that call to come to the big leagues. You walked in the locker room for the first time and saw your uniform. What was that feeling like? It was kind. Of, it was. It was neat. It was a little nervous. You're a little nervous for for what's to come. Uh, excited that you you know, especially to know that you you have come along a road where it's come quick. I mean, for me, it came quick of of being a, uh, being able to be at a major league level. I was. I think I was 21 years old, and it came pretty or 20, 21. It came quick. You know, it. I think I played three years in in minor leagues and. Um, I was able to reach it. It was just kind of like, man, I'm here, but what's going to happen? You know, like, you know, you it's like that. You hope a lot of emotions go through. You hope that you do stay and, and that you uh, are a part of the equation. Uh, I mean, a lot of excitement, a lot of uh, surreal, surreal feelings of uh, is this really tr truly happening right now? You know, and a lot of excitement for sure. Coach said you youngsters behind the scene with the man for the White Sox, Gavin Floyd. <laughs>